Okay, so this is a level 3A vest. Uh, top of the line soft, concealable body armor. Um, this vest is also stab proof or stab rated. It's different than the normal one. It has kind of a, almost like a hard plastic cover. Um, you know, I'm sure this is going to stop all these rounds because I've done a, quite a few tests with level 2. And even the level 2 vests have stopped, you know, rounds that they're not rated for. Uh, nothing really penetrates, but the thing about it is it's the uh, the blunt force trauma with the level 2 that I've seen is just devastating. These level 3s are supposed to offer more, and I have a feeling with this vest being, you know, somewhat stab-proof too, it's going to help help even more. So you can see here, well, it's upside down, but trust me, it's level 3A, manufactured December 2012, so it's still good, brand new. Um, we're going to hit it with a bunch of different rounds from about three feet. I don't know if this is going to really measure any blunt force trauma, but at least it's something solid behind there, so who knows? Like I said, it's not scientific. <laughs> Spear Gold Dot 115 plus P plus. Then it's clear. Zero so penetration. No penetration. No penetration. But blunt force trauma. Yeah, I mean this is hard plastic too, so it's hard to really get a feel for how deep that is. Yeah, sun. Kind of hard to catch. Kind of hard to catch, but you know what? I mean, it's not as bad as the level two. So I mean, you'd be going home, but going home in pain. But that's probably acceptable. Next up is the uh, Hornady Critical Duty 135 grain plus P. This is the round that uh, is marketed towards law enforcement for penetrating barriers and still expanding. I have not been able to find any uh, PD in the country that actually uses this though. It's the funny thing, but let's see. Ready? Clear. Entrance, zero expansion, I mean, excuse me, zero penetration. Duh. Not that much trauma. Not that much compared to the other one. Yeah, not that much at all. Okay, next up is the Federal 9mm HST 147 grain plus P. Federal 147 HST plus P. Good so far. Huh. No penetration. And barely any. Yeah, not too much. Wow. Yep. Next up is going to be this uh, 40 cal EFMJ expanding foaming jacket. Looks just like a regular, uh, you know, truncated or flat nose uh, target round, but it's just supposed to expand. Supposed to expand upon impact. 165 grain, 40. Federal EFMJ, here we go. Shit. My thumb blocks the uh, slide with <coughs> yep. whenever I shoot my XD. That is clear. <coughs> painful. That one had penetration. Think so? Oh, no. maybe it didn't. No. No, no penetration. penetration and not not much uh yeah wow interesting i mean this vest is getting shot up too so it's losing its integrity you know so you figure it'd be good to know cool this is just a 380 pmc 90 grain ball ammo obviously the vest should have no problem stopping this but you know let's just see what would happen at even closer range Gun is clear. Yeah, no penetration. Yeah, obviously not. No penetration. No. 
Okay. Okay, now it's just a standard nine millimeter, 115 grain American Eagle target round. That was clear. It's just a lot of fun, huh? Yeah, it's just like right up to it. I know. <laughs> Obviously no penetration and no blunt force. Yeah. Very, very little, if any, blunt force. Right. So, so far, the only one that's really give us any real blunt force is the one. gold dot. Yeah, wow. Well. So Do this is a uh, Glazer bullet. 115 grain, right? I think it's 115, but it may be 65 grain too. So we'll, well, I guess we'll see. Whatever. Penetration there. Zero penetration. And uh, no trauma really whatsoever. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, I hope this is getting this because it's so hard to film by myself. But anyway, this is the best that we shot. Level 3A. Uh, I performed excellent. As you can see on the video, there was uh, the gold dive, the only one that really gave it any uh, trauma uh, indention. But then again, I was shooting it against a freaking table, so. You know, take from that what you will. I'm sure it would hurt like hell still, but these 3A vests seem to do uh, better than the level 2. I've tested quite a few level 2 vests, and they have stopped every round, no penetration, but the um, uh, blunt force trauma is amazing. I mean, even in 2x4s of wood, I'm putting dents that are, you know, almost unacceptable in it. So, if I had to wear one of these for a living, I'd probably want to wear the 3A. Um for that alone but anyways we'll flip it over here you can see nothing take it out of its shell and here is the ballistic panel this is what it looks like this is my gold dot 9 mil 115 grain nothing penetrated and I just heard something hit the bottom at it. Now this is also a stab proof vest. You know. And it's not going through and I'm really jabbing it. I don't know anything about, you know, stab proof, but I figured I'd just try, try that. This vest feels a little bit different than the other ones I tested. It has like this little harder you know, plastic to it, but I think that's because it's stab proof. But let's just peel back the layers. One, two, this is interesting material. I've never seen anything like this. Three, it's usually the um, yellow woven shit. Four, five, okay, layer number five, we've got the critical duty, 135 grain. That out. Six. Okay, on the sixth layer, we've got the gold dot. Oh, look at that thing flatten out. Okay, so six layer. Well, there's still a little, a little more uh, trauma, but no, uh, no penetration really past uh, past six layers. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, this is very interesting because I've never seen material like this. I don't even know what this is to tell you the truth. It's not the uh, typical woven Kevlar I'm used to. But whatever this is, this stuff's pretty awesome. Um, my 380 was right here. I got a feeling it fell. Look at that. The 380 didn't even... <laughs> it 
It barely penetrated. It didn't even penetrate the first one. It did not even go through the number one. So it hit this, and I think that's right here. Yep. Okay. In the center here, we got the uh, Federal HST. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Where's the glaze at five? Could this be at five? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's the HST at five layers in. Um, here we have the 40 cal EFMJ, the expanding full metal jacket round. Let's go ahead and peel back that. One, look at that, right at the first layer. Ooh, but look at that expansion. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Freaking huge. <laughs> okay, so it just went through one. One layer of this. Smack. Wow. Here we have the 45, which uh, Geo did not know the uh, info on. I'm assuming it's a 230 grain. I'll, I'll measure it. I'll weigh it. But I made it through one. Two, two layers. Okay. 115 grain, 9 mil ball. Ooh, one, two, one, two, three. Is this it? I think so, yeah, that's it. So three layers. And then we have four or five and most of the glazer was just you know disappeared but the most I think was six layers with the uh, gold dot traveling at I forgot the feet per second but um so that's amazing so whatever type of material this is this is pretty cool I'm gonna have to look into this more again it's not that uh, yellow tight uh, woven fiber that I'm used to seeing but this seems to be a good vest and good material um, yeah, nothing went past six layers. Look at that. I got a feeling this might stop something right here. So I'm going to keep this and put it somewhere. 